Hi guys, Dave here with the Nelson Group at Keller Williams Realty. Hey, today I want to talk to you about Zillow. Zillow being the number one consumer used site worldwide, I believe is, is safe to say. And uh, have they done a great job at creating a platform that has loads of information that's available 24 seven? Absolutely. Um, odds are if there's a property on the market, you can find it on Zillow. I wanna talk a little bit about why Zillow may not be our friend as much, why they're not totally accurate. Um, again, they give you loads of information, but what's more important? having mountains of information or accuracy. Zillow's Zestimate, it's your estimate of your, your value of your property. I wanna talk about how they come up with that. Many of you may have noticed that these estimates, um, in our area anyway, don't seem to be completely accurate. And I'm gonna tell you why. They, they use a, uh, a model called an AVM, it's an Automated Valuation Model. And what they do is they take the data, they compile the data of, of people or, or properties that have been listed on their site over the years, and they just basically use an algorithm and they, they use that to put a value on your home based on square footage, location, beds and baths. But of course, they can't. what they can't see is any updates that have been done to the home, whether it's got a new roof, new furnace, any systems, uh, new kitchen, baths, and they can't touch it, they can't walk through it, they can't smell it. Um, these are all really important factors you've got to know when, when accurately valuing a property. And another thing to keep in mind is Idaho is one of a handful of non-disclosure states in the area. What, what that means is we do not share our sold data, what properties have sold for, with Zillow and other syndicated sites. Appraisers and realtors like myself, we highly rely on sold data to accurately value your property. Your property's worth what somebody's willing to pay for it. Well, on the sold data, we know that somebody's been willing to pay those prices, right? Um, yet Zillow doesn't have access to that. And actually, believe it or not, our, our, our county assessors don't even have access to it. The only people that have access to that information are appraisers, realtors, and other board members of the MLS. With Idaho being a non-disclosure state, how is Zillow valuing their properties? They're basically valuing them off of active listings that are currently being marketed on their site that have not sold and expired, canceled, and withdrawn listings that have not sold. I think it's safe to say that properties that have not sold are probably not the best way to come up with an accurate valuation of your property. All right, so number two, why is Zillow maybe not your friend? Well, if you're listed as a for sale by owner out there, right now, odds are your phone is blowing up uh, with realtors and agents calling you, and, and my team has probably even called you as well. Zillow's the number one platform for agents prospecting. Uh, inventory is extremely low right now. and We've got some hungry agents that are looking for listings. Sometimes they'll call you up and they may say they have a prospective buyer. Uh, other times they just wanna come out on a listing appointment, see if you're priced right, see if they can help you get it sold faster. And it might seem like you're just being bombarded. I, one thing I can promise you is our total agent count in uh, Bonneville County, or I think in our Snake River MLS, is about 600 agents, give or take. Um, I, I'm sure about 20 to 30 of those are probably prospecting at a high level. So after about the first couple of weeks of you being listed, that'll tailor off a little bit. And believe it or not, most agents are afraid of for sale by owners. They think that you don't uh, like realtors. And uh, most of us though, that are producing at a high level, we understand that it's just the money. It's not that you have any uh, you know bad taste about agents, but um, Anyway, so prospecting is probably the number two reason that uh, Zillow is not going to be your best advocate because you're just going to, your phone's going to ring a tongue. Number three, Zillow is selling your listing. If you are a for sale by owner trying to sell on your own, there's realtors that pay Zillow to be premier agents within certain zip codes. And when you put your home on the market and the consumer, the potential buyers are sitting there combing through the internet and they or through Zillow and they see your home and they, they want more information, they want to schedule a showing. Zillow makes it a little difficult to find your information on their website. You've got to kind of have a keen eye to know where to look to find the, the owner's actual phone number and email. 
So what they're doing is they're clicking a button that says contact somebody for more information or I'd like to schedule a showing. Well, that lead, that prospective buyer is being sent to the agent that's paying for your zip code. Then what happens is the agent gives you a call, says they have a buyer that might be interested in looking at your property and asking you if you'd be willing to pay 3% if they bring a buyer that's, that can perform on, on purchasing your home. Of course, if you're open to that, you say yes, they come through the house. And of course, the agent's job is to protect and represent their client, right? So they're going to come in and probably try to help them negotiate the price down, get some closing costs paid. And what we find is that most people that are trying to sell on their own, by the time they've paid 3% to the buyer's agent, which odds are you will, that the percentage of people that get their homes sold nationwide without an agent involved on either end is like five to 7%. So odds are you'll be paying an agent 3% to, to, to sell your home. We find that most people are giving away about another 3% towards closing costs or coming down on the purchase price. So at that point, you're giving away six to 9% anyway. So sometimes it just makes sense, more sense to get an agent that knows the market, has the tools to, to perform an accurate valuation on your property, and by the way, my team of all the homes we sold <clears throat> which was 100 over 100 we pulled 100 percent to ask price meaning that um almost in all cases our sellers didn't have to negotiate at all and we got their homes sold within a matter of a week or two took all the hassle off their shoulders dealt with all the showings the feedback the paperwork the negotiations the inspections the appraisals the title insurance the closings the scheduling the follow-up everything and netted our, our clients about the same money in their pocket that they would have actually netted selling on their own, but got it done in, in, in a fraction of the time. So anyway, I hope this video was valuable to you. Again, I'm not saying Zillow is the devil. They've certainly created a platform that's, that's super desirable for information right now and a lot of it. But there are a few things that they're certainly falling short on. If you guys have any questions on the market, consider us a resource for all things real estate. We don't charge for just information. Of course, we'd love to earn your business in the future. If you uh, are selling on your own by chance and you just kind of thrown your hands in the air and you're done with it, you've been on the market for a month or two, it's just not quite what you thought it was going to be, give us a call. I can promise you it's going to be an excellent experience. All right, take care.